Hello everybody, Reggie Time here with just one hand from a very dull session I played on Unibet this evening. Um, but I think it's a very interesting hand because of how deep we are and because of how the hand went down. Um, the hand starts with our opponent raising 3x from the button with xx. We have 9-6 suited in the small bl in the big blind. He's been pretty aggro during the session. I'd say he's probably a regular of some description. Um, he's certainly been opening plenty of buttons and what have you. So I elected to 3-bet with my 9-6 suited. Please just bear in mind that we are like 200 and whatever blinds deep. What that? $61, whatever it is. 240 is it? I'm not sure. We're deep anyway, we're pretty damn deep. So I do three bet to three euros and ten cents. Our opponent calls and we flop a good shot with a backdoor flush draw. Um, it's not the greatest of board textures to see bet on, but having said that, given that we actually have a good shot, I think it's it'd be way too weak to just like check and give up here just giving up because you know our opponents called and and we just kind of get a shitty board texture for our range um so i think firing the sea bet it's, well, it seemed good to me anyway so um this whole hand could be spewed by the way i'm just putting it out there we fired the sea bet i fired a pretty damn big one given the board texture and i would find a big sea bet here with most of my range it's very unlikely going to if I'm going to see bet in this board because of its texture, it's super unlikely I'm going to be making a small C bet. And I finally elect to C bet five euros ten cents, hoping our opponent just gets out of the way. He calls, and then we get a decent turn card in the significantly increase our equity. So at this point, I'm kind of thinking, um, what do we do here now? Do we go for a check raise maybe? Do we just like lead out pretty strong again and kind of try and put as much pressure as possible on basically his entire range that isn't I don't think he has aces and kings very often here. We know he's not gonna fold queens, you know, if he's just got jack if he's got jacks he's just made a set. But I don't know, just try and put some pressure on his floats and what have you. Don't, again, I think it's just too good a card for us not to barrel. I could be way off him a thinking, but that's how it felt to me. So again, I went for a really big bet because I wouldn't. I mean, I wouldn't just bet half pot here if I had two aces or if I had three eights or three jacks. There's not a chance I would bet small. Not given how deep we are, that given the board texture, there's no way I'd bet this really small with any of my true value hands. Um, and I think I can have some value hands. I can certainly have pocket eights, pocket jacks, pocket aces, pocket kings, um, and then like ace x of hearts, maybe ace x of spades. So I think like nine six is okay to slot in there with like all the value hands I'm gonna have, all the big value hands, all the really strong draws. I could be wrong, could be way off of me thinking, but that's what I was thinking at the time, you know, we can just blast this. Um because you know, I'm gonna be blasting it with with like the top of my range. So I don't think it hurts to put like one of that the the weakest one of my weakest draws in there. I don't think it hurts to do that. And then we get to the river and it's called us again, it's completely bricked off. At this point, I guess the question is, what do you guys do? I mean, I'm guessing lots of you guys wouldn't get to the river this way, either because my lines are in terrible or just because it's not your style of play. Um, but we are, we're here at the river. So the question that I'm putting out there is, are we just giving up at this point because we're completely bricked? And let's face it, the two of clubs, um, it wouldn't be the most scariest card in the deck. Or are you just getting your balls out and saying, you know what, we've set it up for so we can just like jam the river with that value hands there or thereabouts. So do we just jam here and then just try and really rep the the aces and the kings super hard and maybe get a fold from like pocket tens, pocket queens, maybe even somehow if he's got to the turn with a jack in his hand. So like that, try and make him fold you know, just a one pair type hand here. Or at this point, are you just saying I'm done with it? And that's the question. What would you guys be doing? I'm not going to restart the video because this is where we're stopping it. This is the question. Are you giving up here or are you just saying fuck it and emptying the clip for what is...
probably what 180 blinds, something like that, left. Not 180. Where it's going to be, and it's a lot of fucking blinds anyway. It's um, uh, maybe like 160 blinds or something. So are you are you firing your last 160 in, or are you saving your 160 for a better situation? So there we go. Let me know what you think. If you think of complete dispute. By, by no means am I going to argue with you. Um, if you think I played the hand well so far, and then I should do X, Y, or Z, please let me know. Um, and if you are going to abuse me, try and make it amusing. Um, so we'll leave it there. Hope you guys enjoyed the video. If you did, please hit the like button. If you didn't, please hit it anyway. And um, yeah, I've just recorded a 25 and a party poker session too. That um, I'm going to put up tomorrow sometime. So hopefully you guys will stick around for that. But let me know what you think of this hand and what you would do. Bye bye for now.